Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving problems having to do with addition of fractions. Addition of fractions, and we are on page number 16. Today is our lesson number 20. After watching the videos, uh, after watching the problems that we are about to do right now, if you feel that you need more practice with the problems dealing with addition of fractions, if you feel that, that you need more practice, there are a couple of videos that you can watch. One is T's Day 4. Just type in T's Math Day 4 right here. There are 80 of them. The math on the T's, as you know, is very similar to what you will encounter on HESI's. There's not much difference. Watch day number 4 from T's series. And then here's another series of basic math. Watch day number 49. Just type in basic math, day 49. Video will pop right up. Watch that video where you will see some more practice problems in the event that you feel that you need more practice. Alright, let's get going. The very first problem that we see there on page number 16 it's very simple, very straightforward. They're asking us to add 3 7 plus 2 7. This is, this is about as baby as we can get because they already have the same denominator. If they already have the same denominator, all we have to do is simply add up the numerator, the top. 3 plus 2 is 5. It's just 5 7. There's nothing there to do. There is nothing there to do. Let's do the next one. We have 1 fifth plus 7 tenth. We are asked to add one fifth and and seven tenth. Again, very first thing we have to figure out here is the common denominator. This is a denominator of ten. This one is a denominator of five. How can we convert five into a ten very quickly? It's very simple. Just multiply top and bottom by two. Take the first fraction. Take the first fraction and multiply it by two over two, which is okay because two over two is just one. 2 over 2 is just 1. We are simply, we're simply multiplying the first fraction by 1. Since we are multiplying it by 1, we haven't changed its value. It's still 1 fifth is still 1 fifth. It's just times 2 over 2. And now we end up with, on the bottom, we end up with 2 times 5, which is 10, which is same as this guy. We have the same denominator now. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus the 7. And on the bottom we have 10. There we go, we're done. The answer is 9 tenth. The answer is 9 tenth. Let's do the next one. Number, page number 17. We are on the next page, page number 17, the very first problem that you see there. On the top of the page, we are being, we are being asked to add 1 and 1 quarter, 1 and 1 quarter plus 2 and 8 tenth, 2 and 8 tenth. Again, before we do any work at all, if we find an opportunity to reduce a fraction, we will do that. Here we have, here we, here we have 2 tenth, here we have 2 tenth, let's reduce it to 2, uh, here we have 8 tenth, let's reduce the 8 tenth by dividing top and bottom by 2. Divide 8 by 2, we end up with 4, over 5. We end up with 4 fifth. Now, here's what's going to happen. Now, we have a whole number here. We have a whole number here. This is very straightforward. That's just 2 plus 1 is 3. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to leave it in the bands right now. We're going to leave it in the bands. We're going to leave it aside for the time being. We're not going to deal with it right now. I believe we learned the word abands on day number 27 or in our vocabulary lessons. I don't have that uh, index thing of the words right now in front of me. I can't look it up, but I believe it's day number 27. Abeyance. Let's keep it in abeyance. Let's leave it aside. We'll deal with it later. 2 plus 1 is 3. Just leave it in abeyance. Right now we're going to concentrate on how to add up 1 quarter and 4 fifth. 4 fifth and 1 quarter, as you can see, they do not have the same denominator. We must make the denominator the same because 4 and 5, because 4 and 5 share nothing in common at all. They have no common factor whatsoever. 
therefore the easiest, the simplest, the quickest, the most economical way to make the denominator the same is to, take the simply, is to simply take the first fraction 1 over 4 and multiply it by 5 over 5 because that's what we see on this side and now take the second fraction and multiply it by 4 over 4 because that's what we see on this side that's it, we're done. Here's our first fraction, here's our second fraction. In both cases, the denominator is the same, it's just 4 times 5. It's the same denominator, we have the common denominator, we have achieved what we wanted. On the top here we have 5 times 1 which is 5, 4 times 4, 4 times 4 which is 16, over 5 for the 20, which is going to give us 21 over 20. 21 over 20 can be written as 20 over 20 plus 1 over 20 which in turn which in turn 20 over 20 is just 1 which in turn is just going to be 1 and 1 20th 1 and 1 20th so we are done so the original quantity that we had was 1 plus 2 plus 1 quarter plus 4 fifths 1 quarter plus 4 fifths we just found out is simply 1 and 1 20th so finally what we have is 1 plus 2 plus the sum of one quarter and four fifths, which is one and one twentieth. Which is one and one twentieth. So that's it. One plus two is three, three plus three, so three plus one is four, so what's final answer is four and one twentieth. Final answer is four and one twentieth. Let's turn the page. We're gonna do the sample problems. There are 10 of them there. We're going to do at least the first five. Let's get going. Number one. Number one is very straightforward. One twelve. Plus five twelve. One plus one one twelve plus five twelve. They have the same denominator as it is. We don't have to do anything. We simply have to end up the top top part. We simply have to end up. We simply have to add up the two numerators. One and a five. One plus five is six. It's six over twelve. We can't leave it like this. We have to reduce it. It can be reduced. They share a common factor of six. Therefore, let's divide top and bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. In other words, in other words, 6 12 is the same as a half. The answer is half. Number 2. Number 2 is also very straightforward because they have the same denominator. 720, 720 one plus ten twenty one is simply going to be seven plus ten which is seventeen over twenty one. That's all. Let's do the next one, number three. We have a half plus four fifth. A half plus a four fifth. Again, as you can see, they do not have the same denominator. They do not have share a common denominator. Not only that, they do not have any common denominator. Not only that, they don't have a common denominator, but they also do not have any common factors. There is nothing, nothing common between two and a five, for one very simple reason. And the simple reason is that they are both prime numbers. Obviously, two prime numbers are not going to have anything in common. That's why they are prime numbers. They cannot be divided by anything, and hence they are not multiple of anything. So how do we make the same denominator? Very simple. We have a 2 here, we have a 5 here. The simplest, quickest, easiest, most economical way to make the denominator the same is to we see a 5 where we, we see a 5 here. Let's bring let's introduce a 5 here by multiplying top and bottom by 5. So let's start. Here we see a 5 but no 2. So let's introduce a 2. M multiply top and bottom by 2 over 2. That's it, we are done. Now we have 2 times 5. 2 times 5, they have the same denominator, we simply have to take care of the top part. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 5 times 2 is 8, over 10, which gives us 13 over 10, which can be written as 10 over 10, 
plus 3 over 10 and of course 10 over 10 is just 1 so the final answer is 1 and 3 tenths 1 and 3 tenths that's it that was it that was number 3 let's move on to number 4 5 7 5 7 plus 3 14 5 7 5 7 plus 3 14 again this is 14 this is 7 how can we make the 7 into a 14 it's very easy if you want to convert the 7 into a 14 multiply it by 2 you can't just multiply the bottom by 2 if you're going to multiply bottom by 2 we must multiply the top by 2 otherwise Otherwise, the value of the fraction will not be the same as what is given to us. What is given to us is 5 7 and the 5 7 must remain 5 7 5 7 it turns out, is still 5 7 because we are simply multiplying it by 1. 2 over 2 is just 1. So here we have 2 times 7, which is 14. Here we have 14. They have the same denominator. The denominator is 14. Here we have 2 times 5, which is 10, plus a 3, which is going to give us 13 over 14. And since 13 is less than 14, it is actually a proper fraction. We need not do anything. One need not do anything. 13 over 14. 13 14 is the answer. Let's do the next one. Number 5. 7. Well, by now you know what's going on. It's very simple, very straightforward. 5 and a 7 have nothing in common at all because they are both prime numbers. Therefore, the easiest, the simplest, the quickest, the most economical way to make the denominator the same is to introduce a 5 here and introduce a 7 here. Let's introduce a 5 here by multiplying, by multiplying the second fraction by 5 over 5. And we can do that because 5 over 5 is just 1. We haven't changed anything. Let's introduce a 7 here by multiplying the first fraction by 7 over 7. There you go, we're done. 7 times 5, 7 times 5, they have the same denominator. Let's take care of the top. 7 4s are 28 plus 6 5s are 30. 30 and then on the bottom we have 35. Let's find out what 30 plus 28 is. 30 plus 28 is 58. As you can clearly see, 58 is more than 35. So let's subtract 35 from it. We get, we get 3. 8 minus 5 is not 1. And 2. So we have, we'll, have 23, we'll have 23 left over after we take away 35 from 58. In other words, this quantity is same as, this quantity is same as 58 over 35, which in turn which in turn is same as, which in turn can be written as 35 over 35 plus 23 over 35. But 35 over 35 is just 1. 35 over 35 is just 1. So this is simply 1 and 23 over 35. 23, 35th. There you go. That's our answer. Question number five, we'll do the remaining five of the sample problem on page number 17 tomorrow, okay? On day number 21. The idea is to just keep on going until we finish all the problems here in this book. And if you need to practice more, there are 80 videos, which I, which I in my opinion, you'll find very beneficial to watch those 80 videos, do the work in there because the math, as I said, the math on the T's is very similar to what you encounter in HESI. And similarly here in basic math series, watch the first 100 videos and pick and choose the topics. All the topics that you see on the day 1 through 100 are not on HESI's. So just ignore what you don't need and watch the videos that you do need. And you might get something out of it there as 
there as well. Bye now.